You may not be able to see my indicator because it is, uh, it's getting assaulted by the rain. All the Pacific Northwest rain, you gotta love it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just excited to be out here and get, get soaked. So I don't know how long I'm gonna last. Hopefully the fishing will be good, but it's definitely raining. I guess it's it's been so hot and dry that I was excited about getting out here and fishing in the rain. Because typically the fishing, for whatever reason, just picks up right, right during or after a rain. I'm, I don't know if uh, any of you have experienced that, but let me know down in the comments if you, uh, you like fishing in the rain and you've experienced the same. So. All right, let's go do this fish on. All right, what am I using today? I've got two rods. You saw my three weight earlier and I've got a dry set up on that. I don't think I'm gonna be using that today, but you know, you just never know. I have got a coronamid. See, it's kind of a bright green coronamid. I don't know if you can see that. And tried and true San Juan worm. I think this is gonna work well. I've got my indicator about two feet above the San Juan worm. That seems to be kind of a good starting point. And, you know, a still water tactic. So here's a fly fishing tip. A lot of people will just go out right in the middle of the lake and fish. And I like to fish near the edge because fish like to hang out more so along the edge where there's structure, where there's places for them to hide. There's a lot of, there's more weeds on the inside edges. So there's more aquatic life for them to eat. So I always fish the edges of the lake. That doesn't mean I'll never ever go out in the middle, but typically this is where I find fish. So let's, uh, let's test that theory. You know what they say about the uh, first cast of the day, or first fish of the day. First cast, first fish, right? I don't know if that's a good thing. I used a little uh, of that liquid floatant on my uh, indicator, my wool indicator, and man, that thing is just, up there nice and high. So you're gonna be able to see that really easily. All right, see how long, let's see how long this takes if my fly guess is right. But I fish this lake quite a bit, so I have an idea of what, the, what their preferred fly is. This little spot has always held fish for whatever reason. All right, good, we got that out of the way. No first fish on the first cast, that's a good thing, actually, because, you know, if you're superstitious at all, it's generally not a good thing. Oh, there we go, see, second cast. Second cast, <laughs> second cast, first fish. Now, now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have that. I don't have to worry about the superstition part of it. <laughs> oh, this looks like a rainbow, maybe? Took the coronamid. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. Where's my net? Where's it? There it is. Yeah, this is a good fish. <laughs> I don't know what it is about fishing in the rain, but um, first rain, still water fishing, for whatever reason, just, you know, the fish just like all of a sudden turn on. I don't get it. But, oh, he came up, thought I had him. There go. Come on. Come on, get in the net. Oh, no, you don't. Wow, that's a good fish. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that is a quality fish right in the nose. Wow. Let's see here. Kind of weirdly hooked. Look at that fish. That is a quality fish. See you later. Sweet. Nice. Fish on! I was, I was dorking around and there was a, just kind of a fish swimming around my indicator. I wasn't even looking. Yeah, it's probably 20 inches. No, right between my legs. Don't do that! 
Oh, come on. Come on. You're ready. Here you come. Right in the net. Nice. Nice. Holy crap. Look at the size of this fish. Wow. Okay. So you even got the hook jaw starting to come out. Oh, oh. All right. She's unhooked. Or he's unhooked. He's so big, you can't get out of the net. All right, buddy. You're free to go. Nice. Wow. It's great. Got gloves on, so I'm trying not to handle the fish at all. Nice. Not a bad start. A couple of really nice rainbows. I mean, both of those were pushing 20 inches. Gotta love that. Fish on. I was just, I was dragging my setup over to get in a better position. And I got a little fish that grabbed onto it. Looks like it's a little brook trout. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Dude, you're not supposed to eat. You're not supposed to eat the piranhamids when they're swimming like that. That's... It's not, that's not a natural presentation. I don't know what you're doing. Good, he's already unhooked. Nice little brookie. See that? Nice. Zoom, off he goes. Yeah, hate the little chronomid. On the run. It's another section here I like to stop by on my way back to my favorite fishing hole. Just a really good spot right along the edge there. So that's a bunch of fallen trees and there's like a really deep deep edge that goes along the fallen trees there and fish love to hold in there let's see if i can drum up a brook trout oh there we go fish on yeah right where he was supposed to be this is a nice brook Oh, I could see his, I could see his colors when he jumped up. It's a good fish. I'm pretty sure it's a brook. Oh no, it's just a big rainbow. Ah, oh, I thought he was a brook when I when he first when I first hooked him because he had such bright colors. But this guy just has a really red cheek. Oh, no, I'll go right down on my fins. Come on, dude. Oh, shit, he's big. Oh, oh, oh. oh he fell out of the net. He's so big. <laughs> oh, my wife keeps telling me I need a bigger net. I think maybe I need to... It's about time I listen to her. Come on, come on. There we go. Stay in the net. Stay in the net. Stay in the net. Oh, yeah. It's a big fish. There he is, right there. Oh yeah, I got him. I got him unhooked. Oh, he's wrapped. Oh, there we go. Look at that fish. That is a beautiful fish. Wow. There we go. Nice fish on. All right, guys. Uh, mild hyperthermia is starting to set in. I'm starting to get the shivers, so. You know what? I've had a good few hours of fishing out here at my favorite subalpine lake. Had a great day. I really appreciate you joining me and caught some awesome fish. And yeah, can't wait to come back here again, but maybe when it's just a little bit nicer. But I sure enjoyed myself out here and appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. So thanks very much. All right, everybody, until the next time, fish on.